Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Choko Bilago. I buy and sell crypto. Now, just want to refresh your mind about activities for August when it comes to OKX and its Nigerian customers, okay? Please, if you're using OKX, start withdrawing your funds from OKX if you are from Nigeria, okay? And uh, if you're from Algeria, uh, Afghanistan, Nepal, I think the deadline for withdrawals is already passed, which is July 31st, okay? So, and um, for Nigerians, deposit, anything like deposit, you know, trading positions, whether you are using margin trade or whether you are using spot or whether you are doing futures or bot trading, deadline, everything stops August 16th. Okay, then August starts yet, withdrawal stops completely. Like the whole services is off the table for Nigerians. That's for OKS exchange. Okay, now there is OKS exchange and there is OKS Web3. OKS Web3 is a custodial wallet, which means when you open it, you own it. It has nothing to do with your location or your location or what country you are from. Okay. So that service is still available, okay? Now, someone asked me an interesting question in the comment section of the vid last video I did concerning this OKS situation. And he's, he's from Nepal. And he asked me a question and, and he said, why is Nepal being affected, you know, affected because or banned or re prohibited from using OKS exchange? And I told him it has to do with terrorist, terrorist financing. Because lately in Nigeria, uh, you know, with EFCC and government and NSA, National uh, the National Security Advisor, that is, uh, I forgot his name. Okay, Rubadu, if I'm correct, yeah, former FCT Minister of Nigeria. Okay, they said most of the things they try to pin on people or even on binance was terrorist financing. Now, with OKX making this move and KuCoin making a move the other day, the other time, sometime in July, where they introduce VAT, value added tax for Nigerians, okay, it's, it, 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 there's no other reason other than terrorist financing. Because if you look at these countries, they are predominantly Muslim countries. Okay, I'm not have nothing against I I guess any religion, but if you look at it, Algeria Muslim, Afghanistan Muslim, uh, which is you know ruled by tal Taliban's now, Nepal same thing, predominantly Muslim, Nigeria of course, Muslim and Christians. So it has to do with terrorist financing. Okay, that's who, you know with the whole Boko Haram situation and the whole Taliban situation. Okay, so everything is all around terrorist financing. So that is where the issue is. And that is where OKS is coming from and decided to prohibit these four countries. Yeah, Nigeria, Afghanistan, Algeria, and Nepal. So if you're wondering why, if you're in any of this country and you're wondering why you're being denied all services or certain services of OKX exchange, that is the reason why. Okay, so withdraw all your funds because by August 30th, Nigerians won't be able to withdraw. Deposits and trading, whether futures, um, futures, um, trading boards, spot, all of them ends on August 16th. Withdrawal will continue all the way to August start yet. So please, withdraw your funds. If you need help converting them to Naira, contact me. Okay? Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Till I see you in my next video. Take care. Please, if you're watching this on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. If you're watching this on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, follow me on Facebook. Okay, till I see you guys next time, take care and bye for now.